Hello YouTube. Welcome to Murtazastic. Today we are going to create this micro world. Chaos on Moon. Let's fire up the Photoshop and let's start. As usual, I will take this 3D structure. Next I imported this image of desert. I flipped it horizontally. Then adjusted it on top of this structure. I applied layer mask and started removing some parts. I reused the image and created the sand dune looking feature. After some time, I ended up with this result. I added a hue and saturation adjustment layer and desaturated the whole layer. I gave the layer a little bit more shape by erasing some more parts, this gave the image a look of highs and lows. I added this rock texture, distorted it as needed, and created the left side, and did same on the right side. I used the same desert image to make it look like the top surface has some depth. I tried to make it as realistic as possible. Here we go. I did same on the right side. And here is the result. I added exposure adjustment layer on the left side. Then made the left side darker, which gave it 3D look. I applied same adjustments on the right side, but kept it a bit lighter than the left side. Because the light is coming from the top right corner of the image. I also added some more shadows on the bottom to make it darker, which made it look like the micro world is touching the below surface. I organized the layers and named the groups properly. I added camera raw filter to the top surface, here I removed the noise and decreased the texture and clarity, which made it look smoother. Then added several adjustment layers to make the shadows darker and highlights brighter. Then I imported this image to add some details. I moved it inside top surface group and put it below all adjustment layers but on top of main surface layer. I used it to add these small rocks. Here is the result. Now I think we have our base completed. If you are finding this video interesting and useful and want to watch more such content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Next I started to create a white highlight around the edges. I set the blending mode to overlay. And here is the result. I imported this image to add more rocks to the surface. I placed it under all the adjustment layers in the top surface group and all the adjustments were applied to it, then I clipped this layer to the layer below it. Here we go. I added a layer mask and started to blend it with the surface. Here is the result. I added some more shadows and highlights. Played with some more stuff and here is the final result of the base. Now I added this rocket to the scene. It needed a little bit of adjusting, which I did with distort option. I also flipped the image, as it had highlights on the left side. Here we go. I removed the text on it using clone stamp tool. Next I blended the rocket in the scene, by adding shadows and highlights. I added an exposure layer to it and darkened it a bit. I made it a bit darker on the left side, as light is coming from the right side. Next I added another exposure layer and added highlights. Next I fixed some other parts and here we go. Now we need some fire. For that I imported several images. Here is the first image. I cut it from its background using select subject tool and then used select and mask option to refine its edges. I created a new layer from it and made it a smart object. Tip. It is important to make a layer smart object if you want non-destructive editing. Next I tried to place it here and there and finally put it here. Then I used warp option to warp it a bit. Here is the result after some tweaking. Remember to make groups and name them properly to keep your workspace mess free. Next I added this image, cut it from its background using same technique. Placed it under rocket and erased several parts by adding layer mask. Then I tried to blend it with the other image. Next I added one more image, removed its background, duplicated it to keep another copy of it. Next I placed it on top of other fire layers and tried to blend it in. I used this image to give it a look as the fire is bouncing back from the ground. I added same image on the right side also. Here is the result. I added this sparkling image to give the fire a little more detail. I removed the background and set the blending mode to screen. Placed it on top of other layers. I used layer mask to hide some parts and here we go. Next I added motion blur to give it a movement. I used motion blur on the all fire layers. Note, make sure that all the layers are made smart objects, then add motion blur. 
Next I painted with black on the smart filter mask and hit this motion blur from some parts. After some time of adjusting, here is the result. Next I added a new layer on top of this file layer and clipped it to the layer below it. Then set foreground to dark reddish color and started painting, this gave the fire to like it is coming out from the rocket. I added a hue and saturation layer on top of the surface layer, clipped it with the layer below it. Then colorized the whole surface. I used this layer to add red highlights on the surface as a reflection of the fire. After working for some time, here we go. I made the whole rocket and fire group a bit smaller. Then added some more red highlights. Next I added some debris, I just painted with a dust brush around the fire. Tip, you can use a brush from the special effect brush category. Next I added motion blur to this layer. I added more dust and applied same motion blur filter to it. After adding some more details, here is the result. Next I added this astronaut, placed him here, another one here and the third one over here. Next I started adding shadows and highlights to them. The technique is same. Just add an exposure layer, decrease exposure and offset, then use layer mask to hide and reveal it on particular parts. For highlights increase exposure, then hide it on parts where it is not needed, and reveal it on parts where you need. Same happened with the other two astronauts. But these two needed a little bit of red highlights also. This one needed a lot of red highlights. And some fire. Here we go. I added shadows below these two astronauts. This one needed some footprints, so I made these. It is just some solid black paint. Next I added this crash scene. Manipulated it a bit and added some more debris to it. Here we go. Next I added this image. Put it on top of main surface layer. It just made it a bit more realistic, I think. Let me know in comments what you think. I darkened the crashed satellite a bit, then added some shadows below it. Here is the final result. I added one more satellite to the scene, but this one was in its orbit and working properly. Added some highlight and shadows to it. Here we go. Next I made sure all the layers were in proper groups. Then I grouped all the groups in one single group except the base copy group. Next I duplicated the group and created a smart object from it. Now was the time to add smart filter. I am using a low end PC and windows screen recorder to record these videos. Unfortunately, windows recorder does not record camera raw filter window. In camera raw filter, I played with some settings, like I added some cool coloring to the scene. Made highlights and shadows to pop more. And adjusted some other stuff. After I was happy with the settings, here is the final image. Next I added these details to the image. I also added a slight highlight to the rocket. Here we go. This is the 19th microworld that I have created so far, this one is called Chaos on Moon. Follow me on Instagram, please let me know in comments how I can improve. And also tell me whether this video was useful to you or not. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video. Till then watch the step by step tutorial on how I create microworlds. Keep learning and keep teaching.